Kenny Chambers and Glenn Harris said that this was the biggest game of the season so far for their respective sides as the top two in WSL2 met at the Rushmore Community Stadium. The host Reading knew a win would see them leapfrog Doncaster at the summit of the table. The two squads also acutely aware of Yeovil's good form in Everton's games in hand, the two clubs closest to them in the race for promotion. Midway through the first half, the Bells open the scoring. Sue Smith's free kick nodded home by Leandra Little. Reading were unbeaten in six home league games and true to that form restored parity when Nicky Watts found Helen Ward inside the area who headed in from close range. Doncaster, who'd won their last seven away games, then went in front six minutes before the break. Emily Simpkins' shot was blocked before Cassia Lipka crossed for Beth England to convert a tenth of the season for the 21-year-old who was played on side by Reading skipper Kirsten McGee. Courtney Sweetman Kirk has enjoyed a remarkable year so far with 21 goals in all competitions and the league's top scorer really should have had another when she pounced on Rachel Rowe's attempted back pass only to see Grace Maloney save. Reading had won the reverse fixture 3-0 in South Yorkshire back in May and continued to press for a leveller. Bianca Bragg skewing her shot wide after good work from Watts. The Royals were getting closer with Watts again pulling the strings, her corner causing all sorts of problems for Doncaster. And just when it looked as if the visitors would avenge that defeat at the keep moat four months ago, Reading grabbed a dramatic 90th minute equaliser. Melissa Fletcher showing tenacity and composure to Tia Bragg, who this time didn't miss the target. Honours even then at 2-2, a draw which leaves the Bells on top of WSL2 by two points.